Hey there, my name is Chris Acton with Acton Creative and this is a hand woven experience, episode 36. Today's episode is not very glamorous, but it is very important. We're gonna talk all about ergonomics. Yep, you heard me. You think of ergonomics when you think of something like an office chair or sporting equipment, something like that. But ergonomics is really important in the life of a weaver. So I wanted to just give you a couple reminders of things to look for and be aware of. Let's start at the top with lighting. So when you are working on your project, it is critical to have a good light. Let me drop that down so you can see it. This one here was um, a simple one I got at Ikea. has a movable arm so you can have it front and back. It's really handy. I used to have a Medusa light that has the multiple heads, which also worked really well because then you can spotlight if you're working here, if you're trying to thread something, if you're in the back, you need some kind of light that gives you some adjustability. That's going to be really handy. Very good for the eyes. Secondly, you need to have a good chair. Now I have right here, I have a weaving bench. So it has a whole removable top and then the whole thing will drop down. So when I am sitting at the back of the loom, threading heddles, it's gonna be a good height for me, which is the important part. Because for the most part, you're, you're gonna to wanna to have a seat that's at a regular height, right? It makes sense. But there are times when you need to be lower and instead of you doing the hunch or leaning over, which is gonna catch up to you pretty quickly, you want to have a seat that'll actually drop down like a stool, like that kind of idea. So you need a little flexibility in your seat. And speaking of sitting, let's talk about posture for just a moment. So when you are sitting at your project here, you want to make sure you're sitting up tall. <laughs> are you having flashbacks to your mom being like, sit up straight? Sadly, she was onto something. So make sure you're sitting up tall, shoulders are back, you're trying to relax as much as possible because you know how it goes. You start out doing really well and all of a sudden you're doing this number and you get up the next day and you got a crick in your neck and things aren't good. So do yourself a favor, just get in the practice of sitting up nice and tall, roll your shoulders back and uh, you know, good posture, keep that in mind. So let's talk about behavior. So when you're weaving, you know, it's so exciting. We get so engrossed in the project. So we start off and we're like, you know, I got a little time, I'm just gonna go. And then two and a half hours later, you look up and you haven't even blinked in all of that time. That is not great for you. What I recommend is about every half hour, get up and move around. At the very least, stop what you're doing, roll your shoulders, look around the room, focus somewhere in the distance, do something so that you're breaking things up. It's not, it's not great to focus on one task for such a long time. And I promise your project won't go anywhere if you take five minutes just to shake it out and uh, get your body in a little different position than you have been. Get a hot beverage, hydrate, uh, you know, wind some yarn, whatever, whatever you need to do just to break up your work as you're going along. That'll really make a big difference. One of the nice things about weaving is that there's so many different steps and you can physically be at the warping board and then sitting at a table and then squatting behind the loom. There's a lot of that going on. If you need to wind some yarn, all of that is good. But it is key for you to be aware of how your body is feeling because we want to keep weaving for as long as possible. And part of that is taking care of ourselves. And uh, ergonomics, one of the key things for taking care of yourself. So that's what I've got for you today in this episode. I hope you picked up a little nugget or just a good reminder for things to watch out for. You want to take care of your eyes, take care of your back and shoulders. Just be good to you. I promise it'll be worth it in the end. So until next time, my friends, have a great week. Happy weaving. <laughs>